Welcome to a video demonstration of installation and configuration on L-Live IP camera. In this section, we will show you how to configure the firmware and adjust the lens for getting a better video quality. After powering on the IP camera, you probably will ask, Now, how can I see the video from my camera? And how can I do some configuration? such as IP address or use a password? OK, there is no problem to us. You can use our IP wizard to do this easily. Configuring the IP camera via IP wizard. Please follow the following steps to use our IP wizard. First, install IP search tool from the CD Campro HD. After finishing the installation, open the L-Live IP Wizard tool from desktop. Then it will search the IP camera automatically. Double click to get in web UI by the IP camera account. If you need to search again, please click search. Click View to preview images of IP camera from IP Wizard. The default password is LLife. If you ever change the password, please re enter the new password again. Click LAN when you need to reset the IP address or password through the IP Wizard. By default, the IP camera will try to get the IP address from a DHCP server. And if there is no DHCP server present, it will use the default IP 192.168.1.100. When the setting of IP address is done, click the right arrow button to set your password. After doing all these configurations, please click the Submit button. Use UPnP to search IP camera. Another way to find your IP camera on your network is to use universal plug-and-play function. All of L-Live cameras support UPnP, and you can use this convenient function for accessing to the IP camera if it was turned on in your Windows system. If you install IP cameras in the same subnet, when the IP camera starts, Windows will find the IP camera through the UPnP protocol. The IP camera will be showed in My Network Places. Double-click to open the web browser. IP Camera PMP and access the IP camera from Internet. We will talk about IP camera plug-and-play function in this section. Because it is quite a convenient function if you would like to access your IP camera from the Internet, with this function, AirLife's router will do all the annoying configuration for you. And what you need to do is just plug and play. After you plug AirLife's IP camera into a PMP router, please log in the router's web UI and click Advanced and Forwarding Rules and IP cam. There will be a table IP cam list 
to show the camera's information as below. Anytime you add AirLive's IP camera, the list will renew the information automatically. As you can see, the router has already pointed a specific IP address and a port number to IP camera. If your PC is in the same lane, just type camera's IP address assigned by the router in your browser, such as 192.168.1.201. If you would like to monitor IP cameras from Internet, please click Status to check router's WAN IP and write it down on a memo. When you are out and would like to access your IP camera, just type the WAN IP and IP camera's port number, such as 59.115.103.1. Colon 8080 in your web browser. Then you can easily make connection to this IP camera and monitor it. Lens adjustment. We will talk about the lens adjustment in the next few minutes. There are three types of lens: CCS mount, bore lens and very focal lens. C, CS mount lens. Our gun type cameras can support C or CS mount lens. Our gun type IP cameras will be well adjusted before shipping. But if you need to use other lens instead of the original one, you can follow the following steps. When you use a CS mount lens, it often can be installed directly. But if you are using a C mount lens, you must adjust the adjustment ring for getting proper back focus. You can find the bundle has key in the accessory pack. Please use this key for loosening the screw above the adjustment ring. Rotate out the adjustment ring to the appropriate distance and then fasten the screw. If you use DC Iris lens, remember to connect the DC Iris control wire. After assembling the lens, please connect to the IP camera via your browser for further adjusting the focus. Just move the lens around and watch the monitor until the object gets clear. Bore lens. Now we will talk about the bore lens. You can see this kind of lens on a dome or a bullet type IP camera frequently. And you can rotate the lens directly for adjusting to the focus you need. Here, we use the OD2025HD to demonstrate the process. First, you can remove the front cover of OD2025HD with a belt wrench. Using a belt wrench can keep the front cover from distorting, and hence keep the waterproofing after you fix the front cover. Please also note, it is better to adjust the lens of the bullet camera indoor or in a low humidity place. In an environment with high humidity can decrease waterproofing of the camera. We suggest you to check the distance of the monitored object and then use a substitution object for emulating the process in an indoor environment. Second, connect to the IP camera via your browser for further adjusting the focus. Finally, put the front cover back and make sure you fasten it. Otherwise, the waterproofing of this IP camera will be weakened.
Configure the video property. There are several properties that can affect the video quality and network bandwidth. And in the following section, we will introduce you some of those useful properties. First of all, we will talk about video codec. You can find the setting of this value in the video setting page. Video codec is all about the compression format of the video data. There are three kinds of video codec in Yuja, Motion JPEG, MPEG-4, and H.264. The compression ratio of MJPEG is the lowest of the three. The advantage of MJPEG codec is that it will not consume too much PC resource. But the disadvantage is that it will take too much network bandwidth and storage space when you want to record the video. The compression ratio of H.264 is the highest, and it is just the reverse of MJPEG. More PC resource consumption for live viewing, but little network bandwidth and storage space are needed. The MPEG-4 is in the middle of the three, and we suggest you to choose the video codec according to your network status, the hardware level of viewing recording PC, and the budget of storage space. You can also download our camera bandwidth storage calculator from the link shown on the screen. Resolution refers to the size of your image. For example, 1920 multiple 1080 means the horizontal toe consists of 1920 pixels and the vertical column includes 1080 lines. The higher resolution can include more information and the better image quality, but it will also take more network bandwidth. Please choose the resolution according to your actual need. Ray control. There are two different ray control, CBR and the VBR. VBR means when the video activity increases, bitrate will be raised, maintaining the quality of the video. When the video activity decreases, bitrate will be reduced saving storage space. CBR means that regardless of video activity increase or decrease, all maintain a constant bitrate. Advantage is easy to control the flow of the video transfer. The disadvantage is when the video actually needs a bitrate higher than the limited bitrate will cause the lower image quality. If there is no additional requirement to the network bandwidth, please use VBR first. FPS means the rate at which video frames are displayed per second. Higher FPS means smoother of video and larger size of the recording file. Again, you should choose the FPS according to your application whether you want to save the storage or you need a smoother video. The J and NIMO is a function which can reduce the influence of infrared light on image quality by using IR card filter removable or IR corrected lens. During the day, the infrared filter starts to filter out infrared light so the picture looks close to real. At night, turning off the infrared filter allows infrared light to enter and then into a grayscale image, increasing brightness of the image without affecting the recognition. There are two methods to control the IR cut. You can use the IR threshold function to determine the behavior of the IR cut manually or you can select Auto to leave this to the built-in photo sensor. If there is no special request, 
please leave it to default.